once one of the biggest global names in wholesome family comedy, now coming to hear if a court would brand him a calculating sexual predator. Back in his heyday, Bill Cosby was the most prominent African-American, the highest paid actor, and undoubtedly a trailblazer. But more than 50 women have now come forward saying he sexually assaulted them. Most couldn't go to trial because it was so long since the alleged incidents took place. One case was heard in court though, brought by Andrea Constant, a former university employee who claims that in 2004, he drugged her and then molested her. For Spanish flowers. That's right. One of his old interviews old joking old about drugging was. women may be something he later regretted. On the head of a pin. pin. That's right. And Drop you put it in, it in a Coca drink. Cola. It don't I, matter. It doesn't make it, and the girl would drink it, and, and she's your. Hello, America. <laughs> Call you every eight minutes. Former guest star on The Cosby Show, Lily Bernard, had regarded the comedian as a mentor, but she claims he sexually assaulted her three times in the yeah, early 90s. Speaking beside her son, she says the real Bill Cosby had finally been on display. I hope that this trial will reveal to the world that Bill Cosby is a lying coward, that he is a master manipulator who has methodically over the course of five decades, inflicted sexual violence upon women. Bill Cosby didn't take the witness stand during his trial. Instead, his defense team focused on trying to undermine the credibility of his accuser, asking why Andrea Constant kept in contact with him after the alleged assault. Why come back and see a man multiple times when you're drugged? Right. Come on, people. You got to see this and the media is refusing to pr print these facts. The jury may not have been able to come to a decision in this case, and he is a free man for now. But there's no question the reputation of Bill Cosby, once regarded as something of an American father figure, has already been badly tarnished. Aline McBool, BBC News, in Norristown, Pennsylvania.